Hey, what's up, guys? We're a caper couple. Welcome Laura. back to our channel. Laura and Kevin. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that smash. Smash that button. So today, guys, we're out at Blackett's Lake. Ooh. And we're heading back over towards Coxeath Mountain. We're going to take a walk up the mountain and get right. you guys some views from up there. Glad you didn't take me over to nighttime here. I would have been spooked out. Yeah, this is actually a creepy spot, guys. And you'll see that in the last video. So, as you can see, we're on the Blackest Lake Road, and Coxheath Road is just the next one over. So, we're going to hop in the car, guys, and we'll catch you back when we get there. Peace. Catch you later. What's up guys we're here we're just starting to head up the trail now it's the Coxeath mountain you guys would have seen this in an earlier video but um, we have a better camera now better filming gear guys so you'll get a way better view of the trail and a much better view when we hit the top with the drone so here's the start of it guys and uh, show you more but I'm gonna stop filming here in a second until we reach the waterfall I'll show you guys that and one thing I forgot to mention in the previous video guys about uh, Blackett's Lake area because this is still pretty much Blackett's Lake area because the lake is right there and Blackett's Lake Road is right across the street from this entrance and what I forgot to tell you guys is that if you bring a compass up here guys the compass will not get bearings that's what i'm reading anyway the compass will spin crazy and they don't know if it's because of all uh, the minerals in the mountain or what causes it so with that being said guys i'll catch you guys back in a bit when we climb this mess of a hill so We'll see you in a bit. Peace. Okay, guys, so I'm up at the falls. Here's your picture of the falls. <laughs> Pretty nice set. Big, steep bank. You gotta be careful around this. Look at that, guys. Check that out. Decent. The big gully system leads right down to the bottom of the mountain. So, oh, burn some, uh, burn some calories today, guys, because this mountain is steep. You see that? It's actually starting to level out a bit. There's what we just climbed. It's quite a, quite an angle of a climb. So I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of it uh, on the way up here. Hey guys, so I guess I'll, uh, I'll stop here. I'll catch you guys back when I start up again. Hey guys, we're a little bit further up. You can see out over the lake now. But uh, it's quite a climb. 
but it's starting to ease off now uh, once you get so far up here it's just straight flat trail and we're almost there now just trying to fix my mic guys I'm out of breath Oh. So any of you guys that come here, try that compass thing I said. You get up here, see if it will uh, give you a reading. Because apparently it doesn't. It just spins out of control is what I'm reading. What people have been saying. Sorry about that guys, I'm just trying to adjust my cord here. So the gimbal doesn't jump around. There's a, an awful crooked tree. Yeah. Oh. There's a few people coming down the trail. Wait for uh, Pokey. So, well, Keep pucking on. Hello. That's quite a climb, guys. Quite a climb. It's a good workout. You'll certainly have sore legs by the time you're done with this. This hike, if you were to do the whole mountain, it'll take about two hours or more, if you do all three trails. <sighs> Laura's son and I done them uh, last time we were up here. We done all three. And uh, I showed you guys all the look off points how far Pokey is. She, uh, she has a hard time climbing it. I can't say I blame her. It's, it's not an easy climb. Beautiful wooded area, guys. All different types of trees in here. From birch to pine to uh, spruce and probably others so a little further up <sighs> just waiting on her guys hey Family. You can see there's uh, quite a few people up here today. I'm just thankful flies aren't guys. There's very few flies up here. I stopped to talk to my buddy today up in Floral Heights which is over the other side of the lake and back quite a ways and man the flies were terrible there I've got that many bites on me okay guys we're at the top no more steep climbing oh, it's tiring though so I'll show you guys the area in my mic around so you can hear me. I'm quite out of breath now. I ain't got a bench here if you need a break when you get here.
bridge in a nice little brook. Yeah. So social distancing signs all throughout. So you go that way, I take it a lot western loop. Uh, the cabin is 1.2 kilometers this way. And of course back to get to the church. So once you get to the bottom guys, I'll show you how long each walk is. I should have showed you that on the way up. Uh, I just didn't think of it. I just uh, looked at the sign, see what trail we're going to take, and then we headed in. So this is the one we're on. I can't remember the name of it. I'll tell you that too when I get back. Just waiting on Laura, and then we'll head in. So to reserve battery, guys, in memory, I'll stop here and I'll catch you back in a bit. Okay, guys, we're up further. I say the trail's pretty much level up here. There's no more climbing. <laughs> Beautiful wooded area. There are a few flies and mosquitoes up here, but it's not too bad. I can't wait to hit the look-off point. Like I said, I don't remember how long of a walk it is, but it's not too, too long. Especially if you're only doing the one trail, guys. I'm not sure if you hit the cabin first before the look-off or, or how that works. It's been that long since I've been up here. But we'll push on through. Hopefully we make it to the look off before rain hits or I know we'll make it there before dark, but uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. If it rains, that uh, just ruins the drone. Won't be able to get any drone footage. And hopefully when we get up here, there's nobody at the look off so we can get footage. Because I have to remain at least a hundred feet away from people. I can't fly around people, guys. Uh, I got my brand new sneakers on. I don't want to get them full of mud. But I guess that's kind of unavoidable. Just here trying to have a cigarette, guys, off camera. quite the climb. The climb will surely burn you out. See there's all kinds of water running off down up here. It's all running down on the path downhill. Beautiful wooded area guys. I'm waiting on Missy. She's a little bit behind me. I don't like to let her get too far behind me. Just in case there's a wild animal or something, right? But this hike, guys, is totally worth the uh, view you get at the top. Totally worth the view. And that's what I wanted to come back here for, is to get some great footage at the top. So guys, we're always looking for a sponsor. If uh, anybody wants to sponsor the channel. If you know anybody that would like to sponsor the channel. Isn't that beautiful? It's all mossy area on the ground here. This side leads you back down the mountain. to worry about running out of memory guys it's a uh, battery life I'm worried about here 
I never ever ran this gimbal long enough to find out how long it lasts. I would imagine I'd get at least an hour or so out of it. Hopefully at least an hour. I know the GoPro will last long, uh, longer than an hour anyway. On one battery. And then I have a backpack battery for it too. Plus I have uh, a couple of power banks. Just in case I always bring enough gear. I always try to bring enough gear. So I can't see out over the lake anymore. We're quite a ways up on top of the mountain now. And you can see the uh, town come up here and put drainage across so keep the trail dry keep the water down to a minimal <coughs> what do you think of this area guys it's another little bridge we're coming into here I've never run into wildlife up here last time we were up. Now, me and Laura come up here the first time we found out about this trail. But we stopped around the waterfall and turned back. So this is the furthest she's ever been up here yet. Look, it's a little tiny bit steep here, but it's not bad. And then it'll level off again, guys. Just hope we're uh, getting close to the look off now. That's a naughty looking tree. So what do you guys think about the Blackett's Lake uh, stories? And the ghost of that lady has uh, apparently been seen multiple times on that bridge. I'd love to have a compass on me here guys to test out uh, whether that happens or not. But I don't own a compass. Or I would have brought it. I would have brought it. Hopefully my uh, my drone doesn't go wacky up here. Because they have a built-in compass in them. The GPS. But I, uh, I already calibrated the drone, so it should be okay. I hope if I have to calibrate it up here, we're not going to be able to get a flight in. Well, I'll probably still get a flight in, but uh, I'll just have to make sure I really keep an eye on the drone because I won't be able to use the return to home function. Without a compass calibration, it won't know where the home point is. The home point is where you take off from. Another little tiny steep spot here. and I think we're close to the top now, guys. Close to the look off. Oh, that was a big bee. He buzzed right in front of us. little field area there a little bit of growth into it but not a lot yeah I believe we're here see all the rock guys this is what it's like up the top here yeah I think this is it babe we go guys we're coming to a clearing yeah this is it 
This is your look off area. And this is what makes the hike totally worth it. Check that out. Check that out, people. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, guys. What do you think of that? So what do you think, guys? City of Sydney? See the harbor over there? I can't see the lake anymore. But what a sight. What a sight. So, I guess I'll get the drone out here, guys. I'll uh, apply for my flight, get you guys some footage, and we'll catch you back in a bit. Peace. <laughs> Hey guys, we're uh, back on the move. I hope you guys like the footage I got there. It's, so, we'll call it a day, end it here. Till the next video guys, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Make sure your post notifications are on, which is that little bell, click that little bell. Um, find something for the next one guys so continue watching and little selfie girl <laughs> catch you later so bye guys peace